Hello everyone, I am Zumi Fiasco. Welcome back to the channel. It is that time of the week. It is Tuesday and today is the 31st of March. So this is the last update we're going to be getting in March and we have April to look forward to and desperately hope that the game gets something big to breathe life back into it again. I know that I say that all the time, but I seriously hope April has something in store for us. But today's update didn't even get a header because, well, it's not really a significant update, but it's still got some cool stuff to mention and there's some limited time clothing items that have made a return to the clothing shop. So for those of you that don't play as much right now because there's nothing to do you can jump back online and get those items if you've been waiting for them and I'll tell you what those are here in just a moment now aside from these limited time clothing items coming back to the clothing shops there are also some bonuses towards ranks and progression and also payouts are a little bit increased for certain things we'll go over that too and some stuff got updated in the showdown side of things and if you're still grinding out ranks you can still unlock some new things because there are progression unlocks that Rockstar are coming out with every week as well and you'll get free weapons potentially if you don't already have them or free ammo or things like that not huge things but still stuff that is well free all right so let's go ahead and jump into the newswire and see what it has to say first off gator hat and more limited time clothing items return plus new name your weapon featured series bounty hunter and collector bonuses and more in red dead online march 31st through april 6th so by april 6th this stuff will be gone again and you guys need to get into the game to get these things and benefit from these bonuses and also if you think about it it fits such a short duration of time maybe something big is coming soon and after april 6th we might actually get a big update i'll talk a little bit about that more in here in a second because i have some ideas on what it could be and the community has been uh talking about some leaked information that might be true so anyway there is a batch of clothing items making their return to the wheeler rosson and company catalog for a limited time including the gator hat the squat stovepipe top hat the winter shotgun coat, the Benbo jacket, which is one of my personal favorites, the Ortega vest, the Tide pants, the Strickland boots, the Calhoun boots, and the Vaquero, uh, how do I say this? The Vaquero Baroque spurs. I don't even know how to say that. Sorry if I butchered it. And then they're all available until April 13th. So get them while you can. When it comes to bonuses, benefits, and discounts, bounty hunters are going to be getting a 50% bonus uh, on payouts with cash for every bounty target they bring in, including legendary bounties. And meanwhile, Collectors will reap a 100% bonus on Roll XP for the Condor Egg and Salvage Collector Free Roam events and on sales for any complete sets. So any complete sets you collect and you sell, you're going to get a 100% bonus. So that means you're going to double up on your money payout. The discount side of things, there are several to take advantage of this week, including taking five gold bars off the cost of either the collector's bag or the bounty hunter license. So to those of you out there, the rare few that have still not got a collector's bag or a bounty hunter license, they are 50% off or sorry, five gold bars off and then 80% off all collector maps, 70% off Criollo and Breton horses, 50% off all collector and bounty hunter clothing, and 40% off the bounty wagon. The bounty wagon is nice. The 40% off that is a decent discount. It still sucks that we're only getting these types of discounts and benefits and we're not getting anything more significant, but still, it does help for those of you that have not accrued a lot of cash yet and you're still kind of new to the game so take that into account whenever you're playing consider getting the bounty hunter license and consider getting that collector's bag because right now is more than likely going to be the best time for you to do it for a while to all of you playstation plus members out there you will receive a reward of three free ability cards of your choice which is insane because ability cards are so expensive lucky for you guys and that's it for the discounts now when it comes to progression unlocks i'll go over those as fast as i can because a lot of you are already significantly high rank in the game and these won't even matter to you but for those of you that are still relatively new these will come in clutch for you and help you out a lot so if you reach rank 10 you'll get a reward for a free hunting bow and an offer for 50 percent off any shotgun if you reach rank 20, you'll get a reward for 5 gold bars off the price of the Bounty Hunter license and an offer for 50% off any revolver you want. And if you, you can also stack that with the current discounts, so 10 gold bars off the license if you reach rank 20. And then rank 30, a reward for a free machete and an offer for 50% off any repeater. And then if you reach rank 40, an offer for 40% off of a stable slot and an offer to get 40% off any horse at the stables. The horses can get pretty pricey, so that's pretty nice. If you reach rank 50, you'll get a reward for one free character appearance change and an offer for 50% off coats below rank 15 and an offer for 40% off a tent. And then lastly, if you reach rank 60 or higher, all players beyond rank 60 will receive a reward for a free navy revolver, 40% off a camp dog of your choice, and 50% off of a stable stall, along with five free moonshine mash refills. So all those things are nice, but most of us are already past rank 60, so 
I understand these rank progression rewards and discounts or whatever aren't really the best or in our best interest, but they're still there for everyone that has not reached these ranks yet. And there you have it. That is literally it for the Rockstar Newswire side of things. That is all Rockstar has to give us this week. That is all that is new. Everything that you've seen and heard here right now is all you can really have access to or get right now in Red Dead Online because everything else has been done and well, it's kind of boring at this point and there's no new content to really play or participate in. So let's talk about what the future holds for Red Dead Online in the coming weeks or potentially months. I'm not sure how long Rockstar plans on holding out with everything going on with COVID-19 and Rockstar employees working from home. I don't know how much that affects the time window for getting these updates out. But regardless, there are potential updates coming that are going to actually allow us players to hunt for Red Dead Online legendary animals. Now, when I'm talking about legendary animals, if you guys remember back in the story mode, if you ever tried to play it, there were a lot of cool missions you could play through and you would track legendary animals for a set duration of time and there were little activities you would do to get to the legendary animals, figure out where they were living, where their habitat was, where they were staying, and you could try to track them down and kill them. And then I think that for the most part, you would unlock a way to craft something for an outfit or a talisman that you could equip to Arthur Morgan or John Marston if you were playing as John. It was a cool way to pass the time in the game between missions or after missions, and it helped immerse the player a lot more in the world because the wildlife, as you know, in Red Dead Redemption 2 is a huge part. A lot of people play this game just to hunt and they use it as a hunting simulator. So to some of you out there, this is music to your ears and you absolutely love the idea of legendary animals being added to the game. And I'm assuming they're going to be approaching it in a way that is close to, if not the same as, the legendary bounty hunter role or the legendary bounties you capture and uh, you go in and try to find them. I think they might try to do it the same way, but implement it into the trader role, or they may even shock us and introduce an, an entire new role and do this specifically for hunting. I have no idea. But either way, legendary animals are coming to Red Dead Online. There has been leaks, there have been insiders that have released the information on Twitter. Tez2 is a reliable source. He says it's legit. I don't know if you guys know who Hazard is, but Hazard covers stuff on YouTube here as well for Red Dead Online. He thinks it's legit. I think the only thing keeping it from being legit is Rockstar canceling it or not releasing it. Don't get me wrong, they could prove us all to be incorrect and just grasping at straws because we really don't know what's going on. The only person, the only people who know what's going on really behind closed doors is Rockstar themselves. But more than likely, this is going to come to fruition and it's going to be true and we will see legendary animals in Red Dead Online. Alongside the legendary animals, there has been talk of new dynamic events being added to the game to make the immersion feel better and make the game feel less boring whenever you're traveling. So you'll have more chances to run into, say, bandits that are trying to hold you up and take you for all you have. Except now they're going to be introducing new variations of said dynamic events or just new people entirely we might meet. Instead of strangers, they might make the dynamic events take a step further similar to how the story mode worked and you might even get a little mission or side objective when you encounter certain people that is actually more and more in depth than just taking someone to a certain destination or defending someone from enemies or defending yourself from enemies because typically that's what these dynamic events are they're just random encounters where you'll defend an npc from wolves or bandits or yourself from bandits or you may end up finding someone drunk on the side of the road that needs help getting home Whatever the case may be, the, for the most part, dynamic events aren't that in-depth, right? So if we can find some that actually lead us to gold nuggets, treasures, or people that are interesting and actually have a little side objective for you to do for them that makes it feel memorable and more fun, I think that would be in Rockstar's best interest, and I think that really is their ultimate goal if they're going to be doing this. All right, now it's your turn. I want to hear what you guys have to think about today's update. I want to hear what you think about legendary animals coming to Red Dead Online and dynamic events. Me, I'm not thrilled really i never was big on hunting and red dead online i prefer the outlaw aesthetic where you either way though i'll be giving it a chance and if it does come out i will of course be making a video on it and covering it so stay tuned if that's something you would like to see here on the channel and that's it for today guys i have nothing else to talk about for red dead online apart from the fact that it's well unfortunately dead and i hate to say that but the polls don't lie and i made a poll on my personal channel that received 7,000 votes and 60 percent of people that voted on it said that red dead online was dead so i mean i'll just say that i've got some ideas for some content coming soon for a new game but red dead online will always be the flagship i will always have red dead online content here so long as there's something new to cover but i feel like i just need to branch out and make some new entertaining content for you guys in other avenues i hope you all enjoy what's to come and i'll see you in the next one later